My name is David Seaman. My name is Travis Vetchin. My name is Joe Cucci. My name is Michelle Berman. My name is Megan Schuster, and I was 11 years old. And I was 10 years old. And I was 11 years old. And I had just turned 13. And I was 12 years old on the 9-11 attacks. The 9-11 project, the Rutgers Student Journalism Project, is a graduate level course in the School of Communication and Information where journalism students worked with two professors and with the New Jersey Press Foundation to put out stories about the children of the victims of 9-11. Um, it was designed as a narrative journalism class. That means you would tell a journalistic story like a story. And I felt this would fit perfectly to take these interviews from these uh, young people and to uh, turn them into narrative journalism. It was kind of, there was a lot of uncertainty because we weren't really sure what we were getting into, what the outcome of this would be. Um, at first it's kind of nerve-wracking because you don't really want to ask the wrong questions. Um, you kind of don't want to go into it thinking that you know everything. You want to like just have an open mind and listen to what they have to say. It was so different approaching every single kid. You have a 10-year-old who really was under one year old when her father died. And then you have a 24 year old who was 14 and she was in high school, but she had to deal with it in a different way. So that was a little harder for us as, um, as the interviewers because these people suffered such a tragic loss that any reaction is totally understandable, but it's hard to deal with each one as they come differently. You know, he poured his heart out really to us and it was, we could never have expected anything more. I had never heard that type of a story. I mean, the way that it, it made me, like, I called my dad like two seconds after we walked out of there, like, just to say I love you, like, just because of the way that he told his story, we couldn't stop talking about it. Like, it was the most emotional thing any person can ever go through. I wanted them to learn that this was a story like any other, and that was very important, and it took a lot of effort on my part to get rid of the gee whiz element to the story. I knew people affected by it and just remember growing up like having pictures of myself in front of the towers and now they're not there anymore and being here right now is just like really emotional. Um, I say it's better to remember than try to forget. Um, it was a big deal, probably one of the biggest tragedies but also it brought us together. Um, I think we learned a lot from it and I think we grew closer as a country. I'm definitely proud of the work we've done and I really can't wait for um, till it's all public out there and people can really look at it. Well, the website is called The 9-11 Project. That's T-H-E 911 Project dot Rutgers dot E-D-U. Um, but actually a just as good if not better place to go would be to the website um, or to the print newspaper of your New Jersey newspaper. And that's where people will be able to see these stories with all the art. Um, and you'll be able to see these stories and um, uh, comment on them in most cases. It'll, it should be a, a very interesting read.